Welcome to the wonderful world of DIY spray on rubber guard. Today we're going to transform the back of the bucky to look like this. Step number one, remove all oil and dirt from the back of the bucky. Step two, scuff up the surface with some thick sandpaper to give the rubber guard some purchase. Step three, tape up any area you do not wish to spray with rubber guard. Make sure you tape up any area where there could be potential overspray. Step 4. Treat any bare metal or rust with a good rust converter primer. If you look up close, you'll notice that we've removed all the fixtures and replaced them with bolts. Once the work is complete, we will remove the bolts and replace the fixtures. Once the rust converter primer is dry, we remove the lid from the rubber guard and attach it to a stone chip gun. To get the most out of your stone chip gun, use a decent compressor with a constant of 4.5 bar. All we have left now to do is to start spraying. Try spraying from left to right, up and down, spray under the lips and spray into all the glue. If your stone chip gun gets a blockage, remove the container, put your finger over the nozzle and with one quick burst blow the blockage out through the bottom pipe. Wait approximately an hour after the coat is dry before you apply the next coat. We recommend you use a minimum of two coats. Two coats on this bucket will take approximately three liters of the spray on rubber guard. We also recommend a seven day curing period before you start using the back of your bucket. Before removing the tape, use a sharp blade to separate the tape from the rubber guard so as not to pull the rubber guard off the surface before it is time to cure. Remember once again to leave the rubber guard to cure for a week before you start using the back of your bucky. And this is the easiest and most cost effective way of totally rejuvenating your bucky. Rubber guard has a multitude of applications Go to our website at www.allproof.co.za to find out where else you can use our products. 